Where's your laptop? Right here, why? Okay, I'm about to send you something right now. Check this out. Nate, what is this? It's a web page I created with every single email anyone's ever sent the Gossip Girl up until an hour ago. Uh, how did you get this? Jonathan. Remember when he and Eric hacked in the Gossip Girl? Well, I asked if he could do it again. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? Upload it to the Spectator site. If people know Gossip Girl's not confidential, they'll stop sending her tips. And without informants, she'll die a slow death, leaving the Spectator New York's foremost scandal site. We get new readers and Diana gets to keep her job. It's a win-win. But for Diana, but think of everyone else you care about. Literally everyone we know sent something in. Including... I just typed my name in and literally like a thousand emails popped up. Serena, you and I both want to take down Gossip Girl. This will do it. You cannot upload this to the spectator. <clears throat> Sorry, is, uh, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. All right. Who was that? <sighs> just Louis. Look, Nate, you need to put your feelings for Diana aside and think of the ramifications for releasing this. This would do way more harm than good. But it's our smoking gun. That's gonna shoot you, me, and all of our friends in the foot. Promise me you won't show this to anyone, especially Diana. Okay, fine, I won't show Diana. Hi, Blair. You getting excited for tonight? Of course, we all know how much I love Sivlaki. <gasps> Who told you it was supposed to be a secret? Well, well, it's not. Is Serena there? She's not picking up herself. No, she's out getting the dessert for the party. Hawaiian shaved ice with all the best flavors, including everyone's favorite. Tutti Frutti. Don't worry, I promise it will be a night that you never forget. Oh, I'm sure about that. Come on, ladies. I didn't hire you to watch movies unless you wore my friend out already. We tried, but he wouldn't stop complaining about some girl named Serena and wanting to be a man of action. So when he mentioned something about a shower, we were like, yeah. But then he never came in to join us. And by the time we got out, he was gone. It's important to be careful about what you tell others. I was just going to check some emails until you finish getting dressed. Mon ami. I don't want you to get a big head about this, but perhaps you were right that my friends don't have quite my best interests at heart. Why? What happened? My shower. <laughs> Doesn't sound like they're thinking of me at all. But I mean, you said I need to create some distance, but maybe the distance is already there. How could it not be? When they say such terrible things behind your back. Ugh, I'm not talking about Gossip Girl. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize what time it was. We're gonna be late for our own shower. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Dorota, we're leaving. Call down to Jimmy to get our car. Because sometimes your words can come back to haunt you. It can happen to anybody.